world wonders how to cope with the Zika virus, the West Nile virus returns to Kern County with two new human cases announced just this morning. 23 ABC's Ken Masenchi live for us downtown with today's developments. Ken? Yeah, Tim and Jackie, this time of year is prime time for mosquitoes. And because Kern County has become a hotbed for the West Nile virus, Kern Mosquito and Vector Control has been working to control it by air, land, and water. The Zika virus has caused worldwide concern, but not too long ago, the West Nile virus raised major health concerns. Today, renewed concern with two confirmed human cases of West Nile in Kern County, one in South Bakersfield, the other in Southwest Bakersfield. And now the Department of Public Health is preaching caution. Dusk and dawn. You really need to be aware that at dusk and dawn, this is when this mosquito is going to be most active and likely to bite you. West Nile virus cases arise every year around this time, and Kern Mosquito and Vector Control works year round to stop the mosquitoes that carry the virus. We have been laying the stepping stones already, but we will increase our efforts, uh, maybe send a couple of inspectors in that area, see if maybe we're missing something. They attack through the air, on the ground, and in the water with the help of these guys. Our uh, employees will take these out daily to put in areas like the animal troughs, uh, the unserviced swimming pools. Maybe a jacuzzi that's only half full. They just do a great job for us. But they say they can't do it alone. We just don't have the manpower to police everybody's backyard. So we would ask the public to police their own backyard and dump these containers out, these buckets, wheelbarrows. While it sounds tedious, the Department of Public Health says every drop of water counts. It only takes one teaspoon for this mosquito to lay its eggs and breed and that's how they begin to thrive. And once they thrive and leave the water, it's much harder to stop, requiring late night low volume fogging to neutralize the airborne mosquitoes. Wearing mosquito repellent and fixing screen doors that may have holes in them is also recommended. This type of mosquito that carries the West Nile virus does not have the ability to carry the Zika virus. And Abbott added that they have serviced at least 1,200 pools already this year. And if you have a pool that has standing water that you would like to have treated for mosquitoes, they can treat it for free. Live from Central Park, Ken Masenchi, 23, ABC.